Hi, I'm Shannon, a consultant at Mira Geoscience. This video will provide a quick overview of some of the general functionalities of Geoscience Analyst, our free 3D visualization and communication software. Geoscience Analyst can easily import, compile, visualize, edit, annotate, save, and share 3D geoscientific data, interpretations, and models with colleagues and clients. A 3D compilation in Geoscience Analyst can be composed of Earth model objects represented as points, curves, surfaces, drill holes, block models, and georeferenced images. Objects can be attributed with multiple types of data, allowing users to manipulate detailed and comprehensive models. Drill hole databases can be imported along with associated lithology codes, assay data, geophysical logs, and fast and easy queries can be performed to highlight given subsets of data. 3D points are a standard and flexible way to manipulate geoscientific datasets of multiple sources. Here is an example of geochemistry data. This point set, painted by iron content, can also be scaled by a second source of information, like sodium. Geophysical data acquired along profiles are best represented using curve objects in Geoscience Analyst. As an example, total magnetic field intensity data can be sorted to isolate the dataset's strongest anomaly. Both horizontally and vertically geo-referenced images can be directly imported. Similarly, 2D GIS compilations can also be represented to provide enhanced contextual references. Images can be draped onto triangulated surfaces like a topographic model, and transparency can be applied on all objects and affect all types of rendering. Block model representation is often used to render mature 3D models attributed with a collection of data from different sources, such as geologic models, geophysical inversions, and resource estimates. Geoscience Analyst provides several visualization tools for this object type. The cross-section slices are at the core of this functionality. Switching between different data layers is quite intuitive and the discretization of 3D space into cells can also be shown, as well as grid localization labels. 2D grids are also supported. As you have seen, the Geoscience Analyst user experience is quite similar no matter what geoscientific data or model is investigated. For example, displaying the massive sulfide surface triggers its selection in the object panel, the 3D viewport, the data table, and also displays its associated visual parameters. Upon selection, the data table shows metadata for the massive sulfide. By accessing the triangles and the nodes tabs, the user can investigate what data is present on the objects. Distance to faults and distance to drill holes are stored at the node level and can be quickly visualized from the data table. Once painted by distance to drill holes, the data colors panel gets populated with the basic statistics and its histogram, as well as a selection of a given data point and how it is related to the color table. The color map can be changed. You can make use of the sliders to isolate untested portions of the massive sulfide surface. And make use of 3D labels to share your findings with your colleagues. Once you have completed working with your project, you can save it and post for your colleagues to open it and review it with their free license of Geoscience Analyst. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more quick videos on how to get the most from Geoscience Analyst coming soon.